Hi guys, this is Ratchet Throw, and we are playing Criminal Case World Edition, Case 4, Murder's Chief. Let's unlock Chapter 2, so, on the way to Santorini. Alright, cause the other ship put us on this ferry to Santorini, but we still don't know why. Let me call headquarters. Ingrid, what's going on? Do you remember Sir Gilchrist, Katarina, the president of the European Central Bank, who was involved in your London investigation? Oh, what's he doing now, huh? So Gilchrist arrived last night to discuss the European bank loan for Greece with Metaxas. But now the minister is dead, Greece is bankrupt, and protests all over the country are turning into riots. Sir Gilchrist may well be in danger too, so the bureau instructed him to hide in Santorini until we know who killed Metaxas. Can you dismiss Sir Gilchrist might know something about the victim? We should talk to him. Anyway, we should also check the island for signs of trouble. Okay, you are here again, huh? What do you want now? Kill, kill, kill. Sell, sell. Wow. So the economy is falling, huh? Okay, first, let's go talk to this guy. Let's see. What are you doing here now in this case? What do you want now? Sir Gilchrist, the bury is concerned for your safety. Don't go out the streets, it's straight dangerous. Oh, I wanna do that, I can't stand the sun. I missed the jolly good British raid already. We understand you came to Greece to negotiate international aid for Greece with the Vetrius Metaxas. Is that so? Had the Metaxas squandered all the money he had to cheat to ask for more. Bah, at least I would have to bail out Greece now that he is too dead to argue with me. But now I'm trapped on this infernal island, in hiding from rioters and watching old BBC documentaries about the Troyan War. And this there is Olives. The visitors advice has said some kind of Olives for me. The only redeeming feature of this ghastly country. Oh, thanks for the information, man. And congrats, you're the number one suspect. Wow. <laughs> he just told us everything. Okay, now let's investigate this island, and from the picture it looks really beautiful, I must say. Well, the Greece is also the beautiful country, uh, if I'm going to say that, and even though it's a, it's a big bankrupt out there. But it's still a beautiful country. Okay, main manuscript. Oh, another one. <laughs> Five, and where's the sandal? Oh, there. <laughs> can, yeah, I can see why Saturday is a safe hiding place for rioters. Who could be angry here, where the sky is so blue? I see you never switch off. You already picked up a faded manuscript titled The Prophecy. Can you recover the rest of the writing? You wanna look into that wooden box. Mm, sorry. Into that wooden box too? We have to pick that padlock first. Heh, <laughs> you know I'm gonna do everything. Just sit down and let me do the work. <laughs> or if you have fun, just play games on. Like Amy does. <laughs> Alright. Or if you use a stopwatch to see how long it's gonna take me to unlock this box. <laughs> Three, four seconds, maybe. Five. Wow. Okay. But yeah, you opened the wooden box we found on Santorini, but. There's only a piece of paper inside. Oh, the paper says, Dump body here. And there are two red X's and a bunch of strange lines and numbers. Oh, I see. Every reference to dumping a body means this could have been written by the killer. But I can't make sense of this is intersecting lines. Yeah, I'm not even sure who could help. You know what? Let's give this paper to Elliot. He's the only one who'd prefer to sit in the coffee while the rest of us sun sunbat on the beach. <laughs> okay. Too hot, too hot! <laughs> okay, how long is it? Thank you. Six hours. Do that, kid. <laughs> okay, now let's do this faded manuscript. Okay. The murder, the prophecy of the minister. Oh! Interesting. Oh, he scratched that out. Now it says the murder of the minister. And that's some kind of picture, huh? Okay, yeah, you, you covered the writing on a manuscript you picked up at the beach. So the book title was changed from the prophecy to the murder of the minister. Very fit, too fit to be a coincidence, I agree. We need to know who wrote this manuscript. Let's see if Dumpot can help. 
Oh, that part. Why can't I do everything? You just said the uh, analysis to do. Oh, to do someone. To do other. So the other people can do that. <laughs> okay, we gotta wait for this to announce to finish. Let's see a little bit. And we are back, so let's see. What's this strange graph about, huh? Tell us, Elliot. I'll skip this ball talk at the end. That graph you found on Saturday is a tied tablet. Table. Ugh, I, what did I say? Table. God damn it. A little bit more small talk would help, Elliot. What is a tight table? It tracks the periodic changes of currents, water depth, and navigation hazards around the Greek island. It's an essential tool for sailors. And a marks on the graph reveal what it was used for to pick the best time and place to dump a body in the sea. I checked the time methods instead, and it all adds up. The crew was planning to sail to Santorini after the murder and dump the body in the sea at high tide. But you didn't, uh, but you left him uh, just at the. Uh, there. I forgot what's the building's called, so. My guess is that they arrived at Acropolis before the killer could take the body and sail away with it. Wow, kid, I didn't know you knew so much about sailing. I thought you never left the comfort zone of your darker bedroom. Not if I can help it. But I had a dysfunctional childhood. Yachting whole days in Caribbean with my family tra traumatized me for life. And now you have a cure for those out sale. Goes to show you should never trust people with boats, Katria. Okay, okay. Okay, sell. Kill, kill, kill. Sell. Okay. Okay, what about this manuscript title? Huh? Katria, don't ask me how this book ends. I stopped reading after page 12. The historical in inconsistencies were making my gust gastroenteritis flare up. What? I said you neglected to examine the manuscript at the FRS3 because it didn't beat your literary standards? Don't shout, Monsieur Archer. I can still tell you who the author is. It's Jacqueline Frost. Her intelligent style gave her away. Oh, it's you again, huh? Jacqueline Pross? Oh, you know who got the author of historical fiction, who was already a suspect in another murder? Oh, what do you want now, huh? So, this Miss Pross suddenly appears in Greece writing a book called The Murder of the Minister. It's, if that's coincidence, then life is indeed stranger than fiction. I agree, Jacqueline Pross needs to explain herself. Let's go. Okay, you are here again. What do you want now? Okay. Let's go talk to you then. The dead cat here. Have to help me. I lost the bears here. The best book I've written. Oh, really? The best, huh? It had political scandal, money, Greek mythology, and romance. All in one, and I can't find it. You mean the one called the Murder of the Minister? Oh, you found my manuscript, Dead I can't believe it. You know, I came to Saturday to relax, but when I visited our local cave, I was suddenly inspired. Must be the olives. They're divine. How did you manage to write this book so fast before Metaxas was even killed? I wrote to the manuscript day and night for two whole weeks. That's how. And now that you return it, I must get on with the editing. Oh, interesting. Katia, this prost woman sounds too self-centered to commit murder. How does she always get mixed up in invest investigations? Hey, I have a theory. If Jacqueline isn't a killer, then maybe she's an agent. Why not? She mingles with ministers, celebrities, high-profile people. You know, take all that is research for her books. Anyway, you're right. Jacqueline mentioned something about the cave. That's where she got inspiration for her book. Good idea. Let's go back to the cave. Maybe it's a place of inspiration for detectives too. Okay. <laughs> all right. So we are going back to this cave, and you, watch out. I'm watching you. Watch out! I'm watching you. Wow. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, what do we got here? Okay, something faded, we need it. Oh, that's victim's name here and place. Place of birth at ease. Oh, interesting. Uh, where's Delta? There, uh, Centipede. There, uh, Ruby and Lotus. It's here. Good job, Eddie. You found a suitcase in the cave, and there's a mask in it. You're right, it looks like the mask of that crazy lady who claimed to know the future, so the suitcase must belong to her. Let's search through it. 
And you better take off that vest because I want to know what, how you look like, how how your face looks like. And I see you also picked up some crumbled paper. It says father's name. The vet just met Texas. Okay, we didn't know the victim was a father. This is a new angle to the investigation. We have to restore the right to get find out who his child is. Oh, interesting. I didn't notice that says father. All right. Okay, first let's do this suitcase. Let's see what we're going to find there. Oh, a tablet. Nice, nice, nice. Pick it up. And I need to unlock it. But there, yeah, what was in the Oracle suitcase? You found it in a cave. A tablet? So the Oracle isn't a total recluse. She lives in a modern world like the rest of us. Let's decode her tablet. Well, interesting. Just what I was wondering, too. <laughs> Okay, let's do this faded paper. Let's see, who's your child, huh? Oh, birth certificate Penelope Metaxas. Oh, okay. At the end, some birth certificate found in the case says that the Metaxas Metaxas had a child called Penelope. Wait, you think this Penelope is our suspect, the hippie protester? But if Penelope was the victim's daughter, don't you think she'd have mentioned it? Oh, you again! Hater, huh? We have a point. I didn't mention Pelo changed her name and she tried to destroy her birth certificate. Maybe she was ashamed of her father. With you on the case, but they have all dark secrets come to light. Let's quiz Pelo about this. Yeah, you better tell us everything, you bitch. I don't like her at all. Okay, let's do this tablet now. Okay, let's see. What are you doing, Oracle, huh? From first, <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's your tablet. Uh, nice to crack the password to Rako Salakatia. Let's send it to Elliot. He'll find out everything about this lady's past, present, and future. Oh, I'm interesting about seeing this. Okay, 12 hours. Okay, now let's talk to this woman. Let's see. Are you Demetrius' daughter, huh? Bella of the Detective thinks you are Metaxa's daughter. I find it hard to believe, but is it true? How did you find out, Detective? I changed my name and destroyed my birth certificate. I didn't want anyone to know he was my father. Why not? Having a rich daddy craft to your style? I don't care about his body. I want a real father. Someone to tell me stories about gods or just sit and eat olives with me on the beach. But the Metaxas didn't care about his family any more than he cared for his country. He only wanted money and status. And you'll become your father's biggest political opponent. Just to rebel against him? Nice for. Did you kill him too? Just to have the final world? The truth is, I'm quite lost without my father, to continue. Rebelling was my purpose in life. It will never be the same again without him. Oh, interesting, huh? Okay, you're the rebel, and... Your uh, opponent is uh, your father, huh? Okay, we gotta wait for this tablet to finish, so see you a little bit. And we are back, so let's see. Oracle, what do you got on this tablet, huh? Hello guys, I'll get to your tablet in a bit, but first, I hope you don't mind not getting paid this month. What? Why wouldn't we get paid? Because I hacked the Burius payroll system and invested your salaries in a virtual currency. The e -U -E euro. Now that Metax has crashed the stock market, it's dirt cheap. You spent all our money without asking for permission on some joke currency in a financial crisis. It's it's okay. Once Katia cash the the market will recover. The e euro will rally and you'll cash in. Katia, it will be just fine. We'll come inside to throw this brat to the agency, right? Fine, whatever. Analyze the stupid tablet yourself then. Oh, you just left, huh? Wow, okay. What the? I can't believe you just slammed the door and left, Katria. What about the tablet, huh? Ah, jeez. A few minutes and I'll apologize later, huh? <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry, Katria. So, I looked at the tablet you found in the cave. The tablet belongs to story Cassandra Papadakis. He, she was a professor of classic Greek literature with the medicine stuff on the universities last month. First, Papadakis lost her job. She couldn't pay her rent anymore. So now Professor Papadakis lives in a cave and freaks out tourists with her prophecies for a living. Eh, I knew it, she's just a freak, she's not a, a fortune teller, huh? Hmm, so this unemployed oracle is a victim of Metaxas' budget cuts? Interesting. Alright, Elliot, you and me, we ain't done yet. Katria is right, we have to question the professor again. Oh, Jesus, Elliot, what did you do and why? 
Okay, let's go talk to this woman again, huh? We know who you are, Professor Papadakis. You're not a real oracle. You're an unemployed Greek scholar. Oh, so you found out. Oh, you took off your mask. Now show us the bout. Also, so... Oh, you're old. Wow. No wonder you got about 50, 60 years old, huh? Well, the take a day if I could re really see the future. I have immigrated to a better country years ago. Why did you tell us you lost your job because of my taxes? Because there are greater powers at play here, Zekatia. Yeah. And not just in Greece, but everywhere in Europe. The Reddits are behind this murder and others. Their organization is more powerful than the burial, but they'll always be one step ahead of you. Oh, you just measure Prometheus, huh? Hmm, for someone who lives in a cave and reads antique poems, you're well versed in high profile political affairs, Professor. Oh, the ancient Greeks already knew about all your investigations, Zekatia. It is foretold in the visions of hate. A great hero will come. Let it be not too late. Oh, what about the Olives, huh? Oh, you're not need to get good. Okay. Katria, this is a disaster. We still don't have any leads on Klaus Weissman or the Prometheus. The situation in Greece is becoming crucial. I need an update on the minister's murder. Well, exactly, Prost, the author is in Santorini, and her new book's plot is especially similar to the Greek minister's murder. In other news, Pelop is Metaxas' daughter. The Oracle is an unemployed professor, and Elliot is an entitled brat, but we knew that already. And yeah, that's great work. Ah, excuse me. Yes, who's there? Oh, anonymous caller! Uh, so, who's it going to be? Uh, from Etienne, Klaus, or someone from our, some of our suspects? Uh, I am the voice of the people. I plant the bomb of Santorini. Freedom for Greece. Oh, bomb, bomb! Who, who planted a bomb, huh? Jesus. Okay, we gotta find out in chapter 3. So, we gotta stop here and continue playing chapter 3. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye! Yeah.